guys, my name is Adriana. Today we'll be watching Lucifer episode 3. I hope you guys are excited. I sure am excited to watch this one. So uh, I'm not gonna keep you guys any longer. Just one tiny little thing. If you like the content I'm giving, please subscribe down below. If you want to see me on TikTok or on Instagram or Facebook or whatever social <laughs> thingy, you can find that in the description down below. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Bye! was cast out of heaven and condemned to rule hell for all eternity and until he decided to take a vacation. And I gotta say that every time. <laughs> oh no, what's happening here? It's not a good way to start an episode, you know? Go on. Go ahead. Jump. Now you want to. Trust me, it's a warm welcome. But won't it hurt? <sighs> it's only one way to find out. Mm -hmm. Oh god. <laughs> that misdirection. Good job, good job. I fell for it. Not the mood of fun, right? How can you decline this ravishing siren's invitation to imbibe? <laughs> well, if LA's taught me anything, constant rejections do build character. Oh wow, constant rejections? I don't believe that for a second that she gets constant rejections. <laughs> I sincerely doubt constant rejection's something you ever deal with. Yeah, thank you, Lucifer. This is exactly what I just said. We could learn a thing or two from this guy. Oh. <laughs> Witty, charming, and wise. Have you lost your mind? Do I know you? Lucifer. Morningstar. Morningstar. <laughs> I'm a guy who grants people favors. Yeah, I don't need anything from you. Oh, I beg to differ, Ty. I have been looking for you all night, and you are in desperate need of my help. Star quarterback, number one draft pick, and yet for some inexplicable reason, a virgin. Look, man, I got all the haters I need online, all right? No, 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 I'm not criticizing. I'm fascinated. I mean, do you know how rare you are? <laughs> wow. I mean, you, Ty, are like a four-leaf clover and a unicorn made a baby. Without you know, having sex. <laughs> That's a good one. So answer me this. If you were to ever, you know, let go, what is it you'd really want to do? Ah, oh, he's gonna do the thing. I I wanna skip my morning workout sometime. Boring. Just chill on the couch and watch Master Chef. This is the fantasy life of a postmenopausal housewife. Come on, Ty, there must be something <laughs> deeper. I, uh, yeah. I want to get laid so damn bad. <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> I have no idea how hard it is holding out for marriage, man. Uncomfortably hard. Oh, you was holding out for marriage. <laughs> oh, okay. But I was going I to with it. my girl, but we broke up. No. Oh. I thought she was going to be the mother of my children. Well, she wants to be the mother of your children. I don't know if she wants to be the mother. <laughs> Just think she wants to be a hookup. <laughs> but you desire her. Why fight it? Because my mother taught me oh, that. No, don't, always... don't bring her into this, that's disgusting. <laughs> no, to her, he was trying to say something very good. <laughs> this is not gonna end well, I can feel it. <laughs> oh, hello again, my little cannonball. Sorry, I didn't introduce myself earlier. Lucifer. Morning star. Seriously? Yes, yes. I'm the devil. Hope you hold it against me. Lucifer Morning Star. The guy who owns Lux? That's me. Yes. No, it's not. I've seen him before. His beats are sick. I very much beg your pardon. Beats. Yeah, he performed at a rap battle last week in the valley. He has a copycat. <laughs> it is so gross that you're pretending to be someone you're not. <laughs> Poor Lucifer. 
That must hurt his ego. Come on, it's Lucifer. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Oh, well, someone had fun. We got something really bad happened. Well, I hope you enjoyed every minute of it. No, 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 you don't understand. Look, I'm freaking out, okay? Can you just help me, please? I need that favor. Right. What the hell happened? That's not how you... That's a weird way to search something. <laughs> Are you doing homework? Mm, sort of. What's the assignment? Oh, well, I saw Lucifer do some things that I can't explain. Is Lucifer a magician? He explained this. <laughs> Seriously, though. He tells you <laughs> every single time the truth. He is the devil. <laughs> He just has powers. I mean, how much more do you want for proof to realize that he's not using hypnosis on you? Like, I mean, the other guy even said, oh my god, run away, he's the devil, he's the devil, oh no, keep him away. Like, <laughs> seriously, it's staring you in the face. I want to know when she will believe it <laughs> because if he's a magician then he won't reveal his secrets but he does he keeps telling you <laughs> oh that can't be him decker lucifer how did you even get this number decker so good of you to come detective decker Thanks for being super cryptic in a really unhelpful way. What's the emergency? Well, it's, it's better to show than tell, really. Oh, I want to know what happened. Oh, well. I... What the hell happened there? <laughs> it just randomly calls in like, hey, look, I have a dead body here. In the eyes, contusions on the neck. Signs of strangulation. And one of the victim's fake nails was ripped off. Signs of struggle. We got a murder on our hands. I had a hangover. I, I've never drank before, so... That's on me. Sorry. Yeah, Lucifer. I talked to her for a little bit. I think he did a bit more than that. Wasn't that the girl he took, you know, to his bed? Then he slipped, fell in the pool and drowned. If she got choked, she didn't slip and fall. <laughs> detective Decker's a homicide detective. She's been very helpful in the other murders that I've encountered. I am not your... That's just a weird sentence. <laughs> in the other murders I have encountered. <laughs> oh. Well, I'll be careful with that thing in the guest bedroom. It's a good chance to go blind. Oh, no. Oh, oh no, that's just disgusting. Oh no. Is there someone who can vouch for your whereabouts at the time? Several someones, in fact. Yeah. Three. <laughs> Get them to tell you every little detail just to make sure that I'm not lying. I'll have someone else handle that. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Actually, no, I don't need your help color commentating. I need facts and hard evidence. So unless you can help me with either, stay. But I don't want to be stuck out here with these miscreants. These are your people. Detective! <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm-mm-mm. Why are there so many hey. shoes? I heard all hands on deck. I came as quick as I could. Yeah, and on time. Look, Chloe, I'm sorry about earlier, okay? I got held up at an arrest in Hollywood. I couldn't get away. I get it, Dan. Save the apologies for tricks. Yeah, you have a kid, dude. No excuse for it, Dan. I'm sorry. I'm thinking our victim wore a cute red dress. There's no 
No way she'd have that pink clutch. She was out to have fun. So that Nyx is anything big and bulky like a tote? I don't know. I'm looking for something small, a little sexy, classy, something like this. How can you know for sure, though? ID, I'm looking for a car. Allie Thornton, 23. Oh, wow. She was an right as well. That's some amazing detecting there. <laughs> She literally instantly found the right purse and then found her ID through her car. Like, how lucky do you get to be? Or how do you even know? Like, do they teach that if you want to have fun, what kind of bag you take with you? Like, it's good detecting, though. I mean, gotta give her credit. <laughs> oh no. What, what will that this year in the bed and it matches the missing fingernail of the victim isn't this tight she measure? had some rough yeah. rough time there <laughs> mm -hmm. what are those oh my god what is he doing now what the hell are you doing <laughs> well since you banished me outside with the lepers i decided to make myself useful you call watching porn on your phone useful? This isn't my phone, detective. I think it's our recently departed. Where did you find it? Where Why did you is this? she filming it? Just heard a ringy ding and followed the noise. Now let's delete the little no. rubbish bin. We can't delete anything on this phone. But it shows Ty and Ali having sex. It's very distracting. Wait. Oh, you reached the money shot. Are you taping this? <laughs> huh? I mean, I'm sorry. I just don't think he did it. Yeah, he had sex with her. True. He's probably ashamed of that. Probably got angry, but killing over taping sex? Isn't that going a bit far? I mean, I know people kill for crazy shit, but... I don't know, I just don't see him as the suspect. He should have been honest though about sleeping with her. Would have made it a bit easier for the detectives. Cough him. Wait, what? Ty Huntley, you're under arrest for the murder of Valley Thornton. This is ridiculous. Lucifer, this is all your fault. I wish I'd never met you. Kinda true. I mean, <laughs> without Lucifer, he would not have drank and he would not have fucked her. <laughs> Ty had a squeaky clean image. He sleeps with a girl. Then he finds out she's taping him. She's gonna ruin everything. He gets angry and loses ah, control. Nah. You saw the video. The only thing that that video proves is that Ty had sex. He was horny, not murderous. <laughs> and there's something else on the phone that you should look into. No more porn, I'm good. No, it's not oh. that. We should look into we, it. We, as in the LAPD, will look into it. Well, let him finish. I wanna know what else, on, what else is on the phone. I can't talk today, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think she already found it. <laughs> that was the LAPD. Oh, it's Detective Decker calling to apologize. Unless it involves lingerie, I don't accept. Financial Investigations Unit. Hmm? Apparently, you destroyed the honeymoon suite at the Budget Hut in Tarzana last night. I'd rather return to the fires of hell than spend a night in Tarzana. And then someone with your name and credit card skipped out in a $2,000 tab. I'd say anyway. <laughs> Do I look like I'd eat a zany wing? Someone is clearly masquerading as me. Rap battles and hot wings. You need to find this cheap knockoff and make him suffer. Do you understand? Why? You said it yourself. Humans are fascinating, right? Oh, she got him there. <laughs> Mace is enjoying this way too much. <laughs> Budget huts and zany wings. I mean, this malfessant reprobate is diluting the Lucifer brand. Finally, I'll get my father's beef with graven images. Sounds like this guy's really gotten under your skin. Typical. Yeah, kind of sounds like that, yeah. You don't even have to be famous to get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. You can just buy one. 
Are we still talking about the imposter? Wait, can you actually? <laughs> can you actually just buy a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? Is that is that a thing? Like that's crazy. I thought you actually had to be famous. Is that true? I want to know. If somebody knows, just let me know down below in the comments. Because that sure is weird to me. Yes. The tear him limb from limb. Is it possible you might be overreacting a bit? No. How would you feel if some off-the-rack imposter was dragging your name through the trenches of Encino? But someone stole my identity a few years back, and after a few long calls to the IRS and the bank, everything was fine. No big deal. No big deal. <laughs> That's because you're you. I'm me, and this is a, a travesty. But your reaction, your anger toward this minor inconvenience... Minor inconvenience. <laughs> there might be some displacement. I'll show you displacement when I displace these bollocks and throw them on the floor and stamp <laughs> on them one at a time. <laughs> Why don't you tell me again about this case you were working on? Huh. <laughs> I think more to say. Just so angry. The girl was killed, and Detective Deck is going after the wrong person. And that doesn't bother you? Well, why should it? Well, because from everything you've told me, it sounds like Ty probably had nothing to do with this murder. That he got himself into, or someone helped him into a bad situation. Lucifer? Yes. Why? Because it was him. <laughs> the guilty and Ty's not guilty. Oh my god, how are you getting the complete wrong point? <laughs> you feel guilty. You feel guilty because you brought him trouble. Oh my god, Lucifer. <laughs> Going to therapy ain't hard, understanding a therapy is not that hard either. What the hell do you think you're doing? Finding and punishing Ali Thornton's actual killer. How did you know to come to this agency? I tried to tell you, detective, on the dead girl's phone. She called here. here and traded calls with Ty's agency a few hours before she was killed. I know, I checked her phone records. And you're welcome. I also found out that the call was transferred to Ty's agent, Joe Hansen. Right, so why did the dead girl even know Ty's agent? I mean, she was Ty's one night stand, it hardly makes sense. Well, that's what I'm here to find out, and that's why you can go now. <laughs> Unless the agent paid the girl to have sex with Ty? But why? Why? Because yours all about a clean image, right? So why would the agent involve himself in trying to... Make him lose an image or his virginity. That baffles me. I do think they were in cahoots, <laughs> but I don't get why yet. What's so funny? Well, the fact that you think I'm gonna go, it's hilarious actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, sir, I don't need your help. I'm not trying to solve this for you, I'm ensuring that the right person is held responsible. Lucifer, you're partly responsible. You see? Why? I didn't even go to the party. I had to work. We spoke to the victim a few hours before she was killed. Maybe it's best if I don't say anything without my attorney. I know him. He plays a sergeant something something in the rookie, right? <laughs> sergeant Grey, that's it. A very good actor. I love the rookie as a series as well. I might do some comments on that. Maybe. If you want to see it, let me know. <laughs> hmm? What desires drive a man such as yourself? Oh, the thing. I want to be the greatest agent of all time. That's kind of boring. To do that, I need to protect my clients. Yes. Come on. So if you have to protect your clients, why would you have contact with that girl? It doesn't make sense to me. I'm not seeing it yet. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you everything, you look into something. Here's the deal, you tell us everything and I don't cuff you in front of your coworkers and take you in. 
I know how this goes. Oh, Allie's a young actress looking for a break. An agent promises to help her out in exchange. She's treated like a party favor to your star clients. Okay. Okay. I did call Allie. Well, why? Sex with Ty. Well, seems I wasn't why? the only one who wanted the young virgin to loosen up. No, I love the virgin angle. It's a clean hook. Got him a lot of attention. But Ty was a mess. I needed him to get over his ex. Why? The way to get over your ex is to get under a new person. Is that the thing you're going for? I don't think that's actually how that works. I mean, it's never worked for me. <laughs> Let me tell you that. So he dated a crazy fan. He didn't know it at the beginning. So when I figured it out, he had already fallen for her. I suppose I can understand why. <laughs> She, after a while, never got possessive, controlling. She thought she was managing them. So I told Ty he needed to break up with her. He refused. I made Ty file a restraining order after she broke a girl's nose just for buying him a mojito. Quite a hair trigger on this Deborah, by the sounds of it. Hold hmm. on. If Deborah found out that Ty was with that poor girl. Hold on, it sounds like he's... Sorry. <laughs> it sounds like he was threatened. <laughs> threatened? Oh, sorry. My accent got in the way there. Threatened by the girl that was his girlfriend because she was controlling and he said she thought she was his agent. Yada, yada, yada. I wanted them to break up. So he wanted Ty to be, what, available? Available, nice juicy piece of meat so he could sell him more i guess or <laughs> I, I think he got threatened by the girl i don't trust him for one one bit like nah paying that girl to have sex to die after you made him break up with his ex and file a restraining order it's just so damn weird where does your head go where's the logic Finally, some rain. Maybe someone up there is looking out for us. I can assure you, he's in no way meteorologically inclined. Apart from the whole Noah <laughs> thing, that was a one-off. <laughs> Anyhow, her roommate confirmed that she took the 4 p.m. class, so Tyzek should be out any second now. I told you you had the wrong man. Wrong gender as well, apparently. Finally, we're getting warmer. I don't believe it. I've been saying I want to punish the real killer. But why? He wants to actually punish himself. Because he feels guilty. For some reason, he still doesn't realize that shit. <laughs> and towards Ali at the party? Well, I don't see what that is. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and I think you're starting to agree with me. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here, would you? That was the entire point, Lucifer. Even she got it. I'm sorry. I don't believe the ex would do something Jeff. like that. Yeah, she's crazy, but she loved the guy. It's about Ty Huntley. I've got nothing to say. It's either here or down at the station. Leave me alone, Deborah. <laughs> well. Oof, I'm sorry. <laughs> that guy is scary. It was very loud in my headset. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. She almost died, so I don't think it's her. Now nah, someone is covering up way too much. Warmer. A lot warmer. <laughs> no. 
Yes, why did you run, Deborah? Hopefully guilty looking. She didn't actually run, she just said, leave me alone. I went to Ty's party last night. No, I, I just, I just looked from outside through the window. I couldn't help but I miss him. Yeah, it's breaking up so it's hard, isn't it? You like two pathetic peas in the pod. Yeah, we are made for each other. As good as he is at football, that's how good I am at being his girlfriend. You mean ex-girlfriend? No, we never stay broken up. It's just a phase. That sentence <laughs> disturbed me. That's how good I was at being his girlfriend. Being a girlfriend and the job. That's disturbingly creepy. Like what the heck? You are legit stalking the guy. If you think being a girlfriend is a job. That we were made for each other. Yeah, I, okay, you like him. I get it. That's all fine. But stalking. And being all creepy like. <laughs> Saying, I was so good at being his girlfriend. It ain't a job, girl. Like, what the hell is that for a sentence to say? It's creepy. <laughs> no one looks out for him the way that I do. And then I saw him kissing that girl and I... Squeeze the life out of her. No. Where were you between 1 and 3 a.m. this morning? The only place that always makes me feel better. Crying my eyes out. Oh, she actually was okay. Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> How long does this go on? Three hours. That's a lot of ice cream. <laughs> we might actually know who rigged the car. The manager. Ronnie Hillman. The big Hollywood okay. fixer? Yeah. Security cam caught her walking nearby right after the explosion. This can't be a coincidence. Somebody must have hired her for this. I've been trying to build a case on her for years, and every time we've approached her, she's lawyered up immediately. I think I know her too. I have to see the actress a bit closer than the picture, but I think I know her from... I think it's Prison Break. I'm not certain. I'll have to see if it's who I think it is. Definitely no cops. <laughs> Use Lucifer! What about someone she'd never expect us to work with? A creepy club owner. <laughs> if so, might I suggest monkey bottoms? Because trust monkey me, I can bottoms. work that into any sentence quite naturally. <laughs> you sure this is a good idea? How? How do you make monkey bottoms? I'm sorry, I'm just struggling with this microphone today. But how? Sorry. How do you make monkey bottoms get into a sentence quite naturally? <laughs> I want to see that one. And you won't need a code word. And you won't be mic'd because she'll be looking for that. This is a simple handoff. All we need you to do is vouch for Dan as someone that needs her services. Vouch? A detective douche. <laughs> detective douche. I'll hire her to fix a problem of mine. Right. Well, if it's that stick up you. your ass, I'm afraid there's no one strong enough to pull that out. She goes there to fix my problem. Our people will be waiting to arrest her. And then we'll have leverage to find out what she knows about Ali's murder. She has information we need, so let's just stick to the plan. Assuming, of course, Ronnie hasn't run off because our sting suddenly turned into a Michael Bublé concert. Am I up for encouraging someone to commit a nefarious act? Mm, let me think. Put me in, coach. It's not gonna end well. Try to look even more like a douche. <laughs> Mission accomplished. I don't believe this will end well. She's here. Okay, great. Here we go. Come on, let me see your face closer. Yes! That's right! It's um Gretchen from Prison Break, right? I don't know actors' names, but I do know the roles they play. <laughs> that is Gretchen, 100% sure. I was right. Nice. I didn't know she was in this. 
Ronnie Hillman, problem solver extraordinaire. <laughs> She's checking you for microphones. Yes. <laughs> A little bit above. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Morningstar. Rest assured, I can help you with your problem. Well, actually. Oh no. Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I think he's gonna actually make her do a job for him. I have a feeling he is so bothered about that imposter. I feel like he is just gonna go off script here and make her do that. Oh my god, I can see it coming. That, that will not turn out great. Oh my god, imagine. <laughs> Oh no. Jesus, just stick to the script loose for it. I don't need your help. I wait. What do you think my problem is? Imposter running around ruining your name? Your professional reputation has taken a bit of a dive. No. As has your sexual one. I'm afraid. All those unsatisfied ladies. Word gets around. Oh, he can't deal with that. Like <laughs> his name, yeah. With his sexual name, unsatisfied ladies, he will never let go of that one. <laughs> that is the reason you reached out to me, isn't it? Yes, yes, it very much is. I do have a problem that could use your help. I am all yours. Oh, uh. I like you, monkey bottoms. <laughs> Here's what I need you to do. Well, you did say monkey bottoms, but uh. It went off script. <laughs> Still talking. Oh, now she's leaving. <laughs> Lovely. What the hell did you do? You cut out the middle man. I hired the fixer to fix the problem <laughs> like you wanted. You let her go. What happened to the plan? I made a better one. How? Just sit tight and we'll all get what we want. Mm. So you get to bring a little bit in you know this. You did get monkey buttons in quite nicely though. Would be Prince of Darkness. Payment due upon delivery. I'd like to examine the goods first. Your dime. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, certainly is not. <laughs> How could anyone think that you were me? You know who you're messing with? I'm Lucifer freaking morning star. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> well He just did not. Apparently you've started a modeling agency, pitched a web series. And I hear you've also been very active with the women. Ladies love me. What can I say? It's what they've been saying that's the trouble. It seems you're a bit of a two pump chump. Also a crier afterwards. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, we can't have you running around cheapening <laughs> the loose of a brand now, can we? What do you say, Maze? Impalement. Hmm, why rush? I think his dime just dropped. He finally realized that. I think what the therapist tried to say about him overreacting, trying to punish himself. Is he finally realizing it? I like the metaphor they used. Jesus, if this is what I think it is, then it's magnificent writing. Go. Go on! And never sully my name again. Ooh, Mace not happy. Let's at least take a finger. We've done enough, Mace. Pleasure doing business with you, Lucifer. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Which is why I'm going to have to apologize for my friends. What friends? The police. Kidnapping. <laughs> That's what she meant with endless rejection. It was not about her looks, it was about her acting. Oh my god, it comes full circle. I love it. She didn't even know she could do it. But I told her. I told her it was just like acting. Besides, 
Who doesn't want to sleep with Ty Huntley? I thought Ty's agent hired Allie to sleep with him. He hired yes. me for a number three special. Blackmail. Slip him a roofie, get naked, whip out a selfie stick, and voila. Why would he have any desire to blackmail his own star client? The client is all about protecting. Ty's agent told you that Deborah killed Allie. He did? Yeah. It's also good with him. But it still does not make sense to me. Why? Why would he want to blackmail him? If he liked the, the virginity... Why does she have a bed there? Seriously, it still doesn't make sense to me. Oh... Uh... That was some crazy hit though! The strength behind that? Holy shit! What she's seeing is eyes were in the red, were they? So the hypnosis uh, <laughs> is out of the window. <laughs> oh god, I love this series! I'm sorry. I took a blankie halfway through because it was kind of getting cold here. I love this series. The only part I liked a bit less about this episode was. Didn't get to see too much of mm, Lucifer. Well, more of his powers or his. We did get to see just a tiny bit, but I mean, it was more focused really around the murder this time. Usually, it's also about the murder, but then we get to see like his brother and more stuff about that. Um, this time we did not. So I found that a tiny bit sad. Um, the other sad part was that we still didn't get the clue at the end. <laughs> Maybe he'll learn. Who knows? I really thought he had it there, but nope, he, he did not. Um, I love the writing of this episode though. It was clean, but clean. Good. <laughs> Well, it was very good writing, like everything just fitted at the end and everything came back full circle and just the metaphors in this one alone, it was amazing, like it looks like you're punishing yourself and he still didn't realize it, can you imagine, like what? <laughs> I think he's starting to piss off Mace a bit too much, uh, she's kinda, you know, crazy, so if I was him, I would be careful about that, but you know, he's still the big boss. So I really enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys did too. If you want to see more, then please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave a comment down below if you made it to the end of the episode. And tell me if you can buy a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame or not. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. I want to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.